Hey, what's up, guys? It's Freak Boy. I'm back with another video, and I've gotten a new mod. Gotten? I've got a new model, and um, well, B29. So I'm at. Uh, it doesn't look like it's really far right now, but um, I am actually pretty far. I've got all this interior. It doesn't just end here. It goes all the way back here front cockpit there's a big tube along the bottom it just runs along the bottom and then there's another piece back here right here so out of this uh, this kit gave me two uh, planes or two versions it gave me the enola gay or the box car and by that i mean it gave me those decals no gay and then the box car and just all the de all the other decals are the same but it gave me those two and i'm going to be doing the enola gay although it is more commonly known i'm still doing it and then there's the little boy and there's also the fat man which I haven't painted yet but I'm thinking of maybe doing this one and doing the box car but probably just gonna stick with the new old gay this just sticks right in here I wish there more or I wish there were more little bombs so and these are all the paints that I've been using for weathering seats uh, everything I haven't done the outside and I put the green away already because I was done with it didn't need it anymore um, but yeah well I well it's actually outside and I will need it again and I've got the um, landing gear for the left wing it's painted that inside green same with the left painted inside of the uh the rudder painted this part green because you're going to be able to see that in the final product well just barely but you're still be going to be able to see it so um but yeah i painted that green and once i'm done i'm going to paint it silver with the silver that I have outside right now which is in a spray can and then next I'm going to cover up areas and paint it with steel aluminum different colors so it looks like there's different panels kind of like on the box right now so and then after all that's done I'm going to finally put or I'm going to put all the landing gear on it and then I am going to put all the decals on it and um, this is going to be my first time, or first plane, really trying to do weathering, so hopefully that is going to go pretty good. And then, just removing the rubber band real quick to get inside. But this here is what I have. I've just glued everything in so this is what I have um, there I'm not sure if you can see on this camera but there is not too much weathering but there is weathering along the entire thing got the beds I've seen or I've seen in different versions of this model that there are bunk beds and all that so I am not too sure but this plane or this model comes with single so I'm just gonna leave that but got all the weathering in here the weathering goes throughout the entire bomb bay and then it comes to the cockpit I got two decals up here and well go to this angle it's kind of hard to see but there's a decal back there for the 
control panels. But if you can't see that, good, because then you know what I'm talking about. But there's this, all just all of this, and it's really detailed. So I have a little. There's a little desk back there. I actually cut up some paper that I used for the North Carolina for all that's flags. I just cut up some extra paper I had from that, put it here on the back. So, weathering, not the best, but, you know, just a beginner. So, and some more weathering, you can kind of see in here with the reflecting light. You can definitely see the weathering in the front. I put a little too much. For weathering it honestly it doesn't need to be much, it can just be a little bit, like in back here, right here there's weathering, but it's very little, and all up here there, there's little, very little weathering. So, yep, um, after all of this is fully dry, I'm going to come back tomorrow and work on the rest of the plane, gluing everything back together, and finishing up all the paints on the interior with everything in here even getting the bomb onto its stand that it comes with I'm going to need to put all these little or these two little pieces for the little bomb and then I am going to later on do the engines and then landing gear these are all the doors for the landing gear all the little windows so and like these those doors go right in here and I am hopefully going to get a 176 scale p51 because I did a little bit of research and the P-51 did do some Pacific battles, or the some Japanese theater battles, alongside this, or alongside the B-29. And I looked up which models or which planes that I should use and what paint jobs I should use. So I found a couple paint jobs. And... Um, so, I found two paint jobs, sorry, I was looking for something because I thought I lost it, but I found two paint jobs for the P-51, I'm going to hopefully execute those, and then have that, because I'm going to end up hanging this somewhere on my ceiling, and I'm going to fly, or hang the P-51 next to it, so, finally, that is it for this video, see you in the next, peace. Oh, 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 oh,